We're leaving Isla Socorro behind, sailing on out. We've got an overnight sail up to Isla Benedicto for a few days. If you like this video and you want to help us keep making them, here's how you can do it. Head on over to our website, adventuredrift.com, and click on the support tab or check out our Patreon page to learn more. Enjoy, guys. Dolphins. Oh. Out at the Revilla Hejedos Archipelago, several hundred miles off the coast of Mexico, we set out for an overnight sail from Isla Socorro to San Benedicto. These two islands are only about 35 miles apart in a straight line, but since we'd be sailing upwind and doing multiple tacks, this would significantly increase the mileage. So we plan to do this passage overnight to ensure that we arrived in daylight. We just had a really good dinner that Hillary made up. Kind of like a peanut sauce, chicken curry with rice. It's delicious. Sun's oh. going down. Oh, it's kind of gone down. Should have a pretty good night sail tonight because it was a blue moon two nights ago? Two nights ago, yeah. Two nights ago, blue moon, so we've still got a really bright moon sitting up here listening to the paddle jump. This is our poor man's version of an SSB. Oh. No, it's not even an SSB, but we can listen in. Yep. Listen to the people crossing over to the Pacific, South Pacific. That's right. We've got Dan back here doing his thing as usual. He's driving us. We'll see. Our heading's really good right now. But our route that we plan is about 117 miles. So we'll see, we're planning on getting in during the day tomorrow sometime, hopefully that would be ideal. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we have not had the fishing lines out in quite some time. This whole area is a no fishing zone now, uh, recently actually, so just the end of last year, there's no sport fishing, no recreational fishing of any kind in a very large area. Maybe Hillary can chuck a map up here or something. We're lucky tonight, it's looking like it's gonna be a really calm sail. Quite flat right now. Very flat. It's a beautiful moon. Do you see the moon? It's a very calm night. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Good sleep. Movie night. Oh, I thought we were gonna sleep because it was calm. Nice. Making really good time on an awesome heading too. So we should be there in no time. Morning tomorrow if this keeps up. Our movie night hasn't started yet because I forgot that apparently before movie night can happen. Need some hot chocolate to go with movie night. Sunrise. Moonset. Thanks to a shift in wind overnight, which allowed us to sail a much more direct course to San Benedicto. We had less than 10 miles to our destination as the sun began to come up. I'm just getting ready up here to watch the sunrise. I think it's still a little ways off. But the thing is, it's, it's amazing when you're out here and you've got nothing else to do and you're just watching the sunrise. Or the moon come up, for example, last night. How long it actually takes to come up. It gets so bright, way ahead of time. I'd say by the time we get there, we're right on nine miles out. I think it's going to be probably, jeez, I don't know, 18 hour sail, maybe something like that. No fishing, of course. So we've been going through a lot of our canned goods, which we really appreciate. So we're going to another big canning session, see what Neho. But wow, we've really had some good meals because of that. Hillary made a delicious curry last night. We talk about uh, Dan here, our wind vane, a lot. And you can see the helm getting turned here as we alternate through the wind a little bit. What we really love is that it's completely, this is completely mechanical right now. There's no electronics involved. It's very simple, very basic. Whenever we do longer sails and not like a short island hop, we try and use Dan. He saves us a heck of a lot of power. Autopilot chews it up like crazy. Just better wear and tear I think too and more accurate. The wind vane will steer to the wind as opposed to an autopilot trying to hold a magnetic heading. So Dan's a great man, they love Dan on board. I know we're talking about him eats, but and he does, he does a lot of the hard work.
We're right back into Isla San Benedicto early this morning and we've already done two dives. And it did not disappoint. We're really glad we came back. Our first dive this morning, we didn't think it was going to be very good at first. The visibility was pretty terrible. Yeah, 30 feet visibility. Maybe you could push it to 40, but pretty murky. Which for here, it's very murky, but we got down and there's a giant manta just wanted to hang out with us the whole time. Biggest manta we've seen yet. It was at least 15 feet, probably maybe even close to 18 feet. It was a huge guy and very just playful. Hanging out, doing circles, playing our bubbles, just wanted to hang out with us. Pretty cool. Getting to spend so much time in the water with these gentle giants was the experience of a lifetime. And to top it off, underwater we could hear the beautiful voices of humpback whales, whistling, and calling, and singing to each other. Research has shown that these giant mantas are quite intelligent, possessing self-recognition as well as a curiosity towards humans. This guy certainly was very playful, and we'd like to think that he enjoyed swimming with us just as much as we enjoyed him. Then on our ascent though, we did in the murkiest water, kind of had a shark come by, which then attracted another shark. And another. And another. And another. So we had like four or so sharks that and were circling. Kept getting closer and closer too as we were ascending. too curious for our taste so we were in a hurry to get out of there at the end so while we we're waiting to come up and do our safety stops they were just getting a bit curious getting closer and closer and uh, the water being the water being murky and all yeah I don't know yeah it's probably okay we, I think they were just silky sharks I think so they're good size ones so they were pretty big, big ones yeah. and they were getting really close dive number two around the corner on the wall that we love so much Another awesome dive, a couple mantas that cruise by, but we went out to our little ledge, our little drop off that we just like to sit and hang out at, and saw quite a few big sharks. Mm -hmm. A couple hammerheads that swam by. Something else we're not 100% on yet. We're trying to identify if it was a bull or, or a Galapagos. Galapagos, possibly a tiger. We didn't really we have to we watch back the video super close to him but he was pretty big and chunky anyway we're happy we came back here the clarity out there was like 100 feet yeah beautiful totally different. beautiful totally fish different. beautiful scenery awesome spot this corner of the island never seemed to disappoint Every time we dove here, we saw several types of sharks, as well as a variety of colorful and interesting fish. Very rolly. Move around to the east side probably after a dive or two here. We've got a lot of wraparound swell. Kind of just more wind chop. So 
well, wrapping around, probably from the northwest winds. It's kind of spinning here in a little vortex from all this high volcanic walls and stuff. Did two dives yesterday. Yeah, and the first one might be the best dive we've done so far. I saw a ton of awesome stuff. We had a large school of hammerheads. When I say large, I mean I guess like eight to ten hammerheads come by. And we saw a couple just before that, right on like the little sand bank there, uh, at about 70 to 80 feet. Mm -hmm. School was deeper, that was down around 100-ish feet for the yeah, school. Yeah, for about 100 to get a good look at them. We also had a giant manta come on by us. There was a big tuna up above the school of hammerheads. And quite and, a large tiger shark. Even. Yeah, and somehow we always seem to get shark sightings as we're surfacing, which is when you don't want to see the sharks. <laughs> well, because um, we're busy doing other stuff. We're trying to ascend and, and do our little safety stop and whatnot as well. And we don't have time to kind of play with the cameras and watch the shark and get out of the boat. And, yeah, but he was a pretty big guy. So he was. A beautiful shark, but we're know, gonna we're gonna head back in that, that we're gonna head back in that direction actually now for our dive and see what else we see but we did a second dive out here in this area called the canyon which was great as well a couple of hammerheads again mm -hmm. uh, a couple of mantas yeah, three large mantas came by yeah pretty cool Day's finally come. We're actually going to start heading back to civilization today. Probably this evening. We're going to do at least one more dive here, the Savo, and then we'll start making our way back. The blue line is our straight straight line from here, basically a rum line from here to Ziwat Neho, which is a pretty nice east-southeast track. Uh, it should be a really good run downwind all the way. What I did was use the weather routing software inside OpenCPN itself. The weather routing on here right now, we're using the pilot chart, so it's like a hundred 150 years, whatever it is, of uh, data from other ships and so on in the area, which gives you a general idea of what the winds are at that time of year on that date, uh, averaged out over all time, right? And that's what we did this weather routing on. It has us going quite a bit further north, back up towards Puerto Vallarta or Banderas Bay area before heading south along the coastline. I think we'll ignore that. We're going to head on the rum line for the most part. We will do another weather routing later and I'll download a larger grid file. The grid files that I had were only for, I think, four or five days. If this is going to take longer than that, it won't compute. So I'm going to get a larger grid file. Also doing today, Hillary's got me doing up a little bit of peanut butter here. And then we'll just do another chores. I've got to change the engine zinc later. Hillary's up top here doing laundry. Just doing some laundry. Get ready so we can have clean clothes when we head back into the mainland. One more dive today. One more dive will be our last dive out here at the islands, which is kind of a bummer, but it's been really good. I just used up the last of our petrol too, so good timing. So I think no there's more a, tank filling after this. No, I think there's a dribble in there, so it works out good timing. Uh, that's the, and that's the petrol we borrowed from, or borrowed, we got given from uh, the sailboat Cahoots. That little dribble in there, I just filled up some more two-stroke for our engine here since we've been using it a lot more than normal with broken oars right now or broken oar stands that'll be just enough i think we'll be able to get one more dive in easy there's probably still a little bit of petrol in the compressor there and i'll top it up just so we've got an empty tank ready to go by the time we get back it'll probably be almost a month before i've been on land not for hillary hillary's an evil bad person that snuck on the island i had to rescue the drone there's an emergency drone rescue to leave. Time to leave. The time has come to leave the Riviera Hados. The time has come to leave the Riviera Riviera Riviera. I don't. The Riviera Hados Archipelago. Time to leave the Riviera Hados Archipelago. After a month here, our time has come to the end. 
Gotta go. It's Friday evening. We're gonna set off here. The sun has gone down behind the volcano. Uh, it's gonna be a nice evening. I think we'll have a little good kick out from the island and then a nice cruise through the night. Hoping for a nice, calm, but speedy sail. It should be downwind the whole way, almost due east. Hopefully just a little bit off the quarter, I think. Yeah, we yeah. should have a good sail. Yeah. I'm hungry. I'm and starving. We're tired, so I don't know. We need to like leave go. so we can eat and sleep or something. Yeah. Relax. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss one of our weekly episodes. Cheers. Adios. Bye. Today's episode is proudly brought to you by the sun and the moon up there. Hold out for the president. Another day that's grey and lonely. The sun will come out tomorrow. Hey, we should go see what Hillary's doing.